Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the camera path editor tool in BMG Drive. In this video, we'll go over the basics of creating and editing your camera paths to capture your perfect shots of your favorite cars inside BMG Drive. Let's start by opening the camera path editor tool, which you can find by pressing F11 in your keyboard. So we're going to click on F11. As you can see, we're brought to this page where it shows some utility tabs that we can use in the game. But for our video, we're going to use the camera path editor. Click on it. And as you can see, we're brought to this little tab right here. You're going to want to click on new and just stay right here and click F11. And just we're going to back out. First, we have to make a replay. And to make a replay, we have to record in game, which you're going to want to click on escape. Head over to UI apps. Then you're going to click on add an app. And as you can see, we're brought to this page where it shows a bunch of apps that we can use in game. You're going to go over here to the search bar and type in replay. It's going to be the first option. Click it and drag it wherever you want. After you're done, press escape two times and we're back to the game. As you can see, we have a little replay tool right here and we're going to start recording. So we'll start recording, start our car and just drive. All right, that's a good clip. So we're gonna click on save recording. And as you can see, it's playing back our clip. Click on pause, hit F F11, and then you wanna go up here where it says link path to current replay, check it. And as you can see, it's playing back our clip. All right, now is where the fun begins and we can, you know, edit our clip. Depending on how long your video is, this can get a little bit boring, but it's worth it because the outcome is really nice. So I'm going to start by putting it right here to get the exhaust. Make sure to uncheck allow manual FOV change. So you're going to check it. So we're going to put this to 40. You can put this however you want. But right here, add marker. This is the part where I start doing the burnout. So we're going to get right here a shot of the tire, add marker. And there goes the car. So now we're going to get a shot of the front and continue from here. Make sure when, you, when you're making these angles, make sure to be pretty creative or else it's going to be a little bit boring once you watch a video because it's going to be the same angles over and over again. All right, now we're going to get an angle from the back. Right here is fine. Add marker. I get a little bit sideways right here. So that's fine. I'm just gonna keep on going. All right now we're gonna get a shot from right here, but we're going to put our FOB to 10 which is actually the lowest you can go. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the car, like so, and add a marker. Right, this is the part where I started to drift. So we're going to go back to this track 50 actually. And we're going to get behind the car like so. Add a marker and continue from here.
All right, in this shot, I'm going to actually get in the front of the car. So I'm going to do like this. Add marker and continue from here. And this is the part where I start doing the burnout. So I'm going to get behind the car like this. All right. Now that you're done editing inside your camera path editor tool, you can click on play and close editor. To hide your UI, just click on alt U and to unpause the video, click on J. Right, as you can see it came up pretty good except for one shot where the camera kind of messes up transferring to the other angle All right so now what we're going to do is you're that you're going to you're going to record your screen with obs and i'll be showing you guys how we have obs open right here so i'm gonna show you guys how to capture your game stream and your audio so if you want to click on add source you're going to go to game capture you can name it whatever you want. So now, as you can see, we have a BMG. I don't want to click on capture a specific window. Click on where it says window. Search for BMG. And now we're capturing BMG drive. Make sure to uncheck this because you don't want to leave your cursor on the video on accident. Okay. All right, so now, as you can see, we have our BMG source open. There it is. So now to capture your audio, you're going to want to click on source you can go to where it says audio apple capture name it wherever you want and you're going to click on your headphones for me it is the headphones high definition audio device and now we should have audio now remember for the game alt u and hide the ui and to unpause the video it's j but first we're going to click on start recording and now you're recording so click on j and there it is as you can see it's capturing the audio from the game. As you can see, it's recording. Right now, for the, now, all right, now we're going to start editing our clip and whatever software. All right, now as you can see, we're inside CapCut, which is a new editing video software. So we're going to click on import, and you're going to drag the clip that we made, which is this one. So as you can see, it's playing back our clip. So I can just do this. That is really loud. Sorry. All right. There's just one specific spot where I, that I want to edit out, which is it's right here. As you can see, we stopped focusing on the car for about two seconds. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little messed up right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to edit it before like this. Click Control B, and we're going to go back to where focus is back on the car. And that's it. Maybe we're going to make a little bit of adjustments to it. For example, let's make a little bit more saturated. I'm going to go over here and make a little bit of saturation. All right, so now, as you can see, we have a video. So yeah, this is how I edit my videos. I mostly... If I mess up like how I did it with that camera angle, it's fairly simple. Um, if you're making longer video, obviously it's a little bit more boring. But yeah, that's mostly all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have you know, any questions or would you need help with anything, uh, make sure to contact me via email. I have my email in my description or you can use the comment section below. I also use Discord. Um, but yeah, uh, catch you guys in the next one.